you want to secure Discord server? Well, in today's video, we're going to go through another verification method which you can use to protect your members in your Discord server. I've made a video on this previously on how to make a verification system with a simple reactant like this. But the method which I'm going to show you today is going to give your server more security as it's a little harder to verify. So in the description below, there is a link to the bot's invite. So you want to click that and it should take you to this website. As you can see, it should be called the server capture bot and that's the bot which we're going to use for today's video and all you need to do is click the invite button right here and it should take you to this page and you want to sign into your discord account and you want to select your server and for me in this case will be test server you want to click continue and then this is just giving the bots permission so make sure all of these are ticked and then just click authorize on the bottom then just confirm you're a human by ticking the box here and you'll see that you're a human is authorized and when you go back to discord the bot will be in the server now you want to go to your discord server and we're going to make a role so that the members who verify will receive that role kind of like a, a verified role for example so you want to click the arrow which is by the name of the server and then you want to go to server settings then you go down to roles and we're going to click the plus which is up here which creates the role so click that it gives a new role we're going to name this either verified community or maybe members so in this case we're going to use members then give it a color so blue and then just click save changes down here then you want to make sure that the bot's role here is above the role that you just made as then the bot can actually give that person the role. So now we're going to go through the setting up process. So now you want to make a verified channel. So right click here and create a category. I'm going to call this verification. And then you want to click the plus which is here to create the channel. And you want to call this verify or verification press enter and it will create the channel so now we're going to move on to the permissions so you want to right click the channel and go to edit channel and click permissions right here and you'll see it just comes up with the list of roles and the different permissions each role will have so i'm going to show you how you can hide channels from members who aren't verified and also to hide the channels such as the verification one so that once people are verified they can no longer see the channel so you need to add that member role which you just created so click the plus here and go down to members and it will appear right here. And you want to make it so that they can't see this channel. As that's the role they get when they're verified, they're no longer gonna need to use the channel. So just make sure this is red. Then on everyone, you want to make sure that the view channel is green so that they can see the channel so they can actually verify. Then you want to click save changes and then click the escape up here. Now for your other channels, we're going to do the same thing but the opposite with the roles. So for your gaming channel or your general channel, for example, if you right click that and go to edit channel, you want to go to permissions and you're going to make it so everyone can't see the channel as that's technically classed as the unverified role you don't want those people seeing that channel as they're not going to be verified there's obviously no point in having a verification if they're going to be able to see all the channels so then you want to click the plus right here and then you want to add the members role which you just made and this is going to be the verified role and they need to be able to see the channel and obviously you can add your other permissions which you want then you want to just click save changes down here and then click the escape or the x here so that's nearly all the permissions sorted finally all you need to do is make it so the verify bot which you just added has all the permissions that it needs so you need to go and make sure that it has the read and send messages in verification so go to here edit channel permissions and click the plus here and the server capture bot add this role here and make it so that they can view the channel and send the messages. You should also make sure to hit that red subscribe button as 86% of you guys aren't actually subscribed and it would help a lot to reach my goal of 1000 subs. So thank you. Now you want to make a server log channel so that the bot can put the failed or correct message to show that the member has verified or maybe failed the verification. So obviously to create this channel you right click here, create channel and you want to call it server log and just press enter and it will appear up here. You just drag it down a little bit so it's uh, in line with the other ones. And we're gonna give the bot this permission. So right click, edit channel, permissions, and we're gonna press the plus here and choose the server capture bot, the role. And we're gonna make it so that they can view the channel and again, send messages. And make sure to save changes at the bottom and then press the X or escape here. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the final commands and then we should be done. So in your bot commands channel right here, you want to type in the command, exclamation mark config as you can see on the screen right now and it'll send you this message and these are basically the four things which you need to complete the setup of the verification so for the first one we're going to do exclamation mark config verification channel 
and then the channel name which is hashtag verify or whatever yours is so then press enter there and then click enter again and that will set the verification channel so we're going to do the command exclamation mark config user capital R for role and then the uh, role name so at members and then press enter there you go it's set the uh, user role to members and then finally set the logs channel which you made so exclamation mark config logs channel and then hashtag server log and then just press enter and it will successfully set that as a logs channel and then finally you need to just do the command exclamation mark verify and there you go it sent you a message so open this and it will just basically say oh welcome to the test server or your server name and it's basically just a verify thing so this is the thing you have to type in the code so d r f u s there you go it says i've been verified and as you can see it's given me the members role which i didn't have earlier so that's the end of today's video if you found the video useful make sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment down below any questions or feedback as i'll be happy to help you thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye